Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we're touring a mansion that is truly one with nature. This home sits on a prized plot in the highly sought after Mayersdahl Eco Estate and is truly the pinnacle of luxury living. Their home boasts six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, a six car garage, and a stunning blend of classic and modern design elements, all for 22.5 million Rand. But before we see the home behind me, let me tell you that you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. But without further ado, my name is Chad Viveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Let's get started. Hey Ryan, thank you so much for having us in the Home Shopper Show tour, your exclusive listing right here in Mayersdahl Eco Estate. Absolutely, thanks for having us and thank you for featuring us on your show, we really appreciate it. So we are at this magnificent Balinese style Indonesian inspired home. It's seven bedrooms, seven bathrooms, price tag 22 and a half million, 2,400 square meter stand, 1,200 square meter got some killer features I've snuck through here with you. You are doing uh, something really cool on Netflix, so I think everybody needs to tune into that. Let's Tell us a little Josie bit about that. Look into that. So it's a new show that we, or not a new show, it's season two that we're filming at the moment. And season one's done, I'm sure some of you know me, and yeah, we're excited to, to be on the show too. You, you as well, thank you for being on the show. It is an incredible home. Tell me a bit about the estate. Mayersdahl Eco Estate, a lot of people have heard about it. We are under. So one of the most exclusive estates in Johannesburg, in my opinion, one of the best. Uh, very um, small estate in terms of the amount of residents, so only 320 homes, uh, but we actually on a nature estate. So you're gonna have giraffe, zebra, wildebeers on your doorstep. And we are in the middle of nature, but we enjoy it. I know, I still can't get over that. And I think everybody watching is going to see some amazing things behind these doors. But tell me what your favorite feature is on the side. Definitely the position, so the view. And we're on the main watering hole. And you've got that magnificent sunset view. Well, Ryan, thank you so much. I don't think I can wait any longer to go and tour this incredible home. I appreciate it. As you step through those double doors, you're greeted by an entry hall that is truly spectacular. Triple volume ceilings beating out all of your neighbors who only have double volume ceilings. To my left, a catchment area that is really designed in such a fashion that it blends with the outside and the nature of this home and what's probably a key design element of this home. Also to my left, you've got a guest bathroom and access to your six car garage. And on my right, we've got double doors that lead into a fully enclosed guest suite and we're gonna be showing you that right now. And now it's time to head into one of the best features of this home, the cottage. The one bedroom cottage is large enough to feature a full kitchen, a large lounge with a spot for a big desk, and a large bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. The bachelor pad is perfect for your older kids or even the in -laws. Now with the guest wing out of the way, we're back in the entry hall and we get to talk about some of the incredible features we find here. One has to be this outdoor catchment area that you've got water as well as a water feature, plenty of rocks, a beautiful area and made even more beautiful when you take into consideration you've got sliding stackable glass doors that open that space up into your entryway. You've got beautiful, beautiful chandeliers hanging from the triple volume ceiling. Another amazing thing is coming through those double doors, you're faced with floor to ceiling windows that let you look straight through the home onto the pool area and down onto the watering hole. And as you heard from Ryan earlier, that watering hole plays home to a whole host of different animals, giraffes, buck, and you never know what else you might see. So if you're an avid animal lover, this home is without a doubt for you. But right now we're gonna take a walk down these stairs and into that formal living area. Come with me. Another set of beautifully carved glass doors and double doors at that lead you into this 
formal living room area, we start off with the dining area. A 10-seat dining room table fits here comfortably. Again, beautiful lighting elements in terms of chandeliers as well as a bulkhead ceiling. But one of my favorite features of this area specifically is just behind me. These double doors open up outwards onto your very own private patio and outdoor spaces are really the name of this home because you're situated in nature even though you're really not far from the city but I love how private, quiet and comfortable it is living here. From your dining room area it moves off seamlessly into this formal lounge area that is dominated by a stunning built-in fireplace. This time gas fireplace, you don't need to worry about smoke or really even setting it up, TV above it, so much space that comfort right here even though it's a formal area is top of mind but take a look at this this formal area comes with a formal bar beautifully lit real wood bar area and let me take a quick walk behind there so i can really showcase how incredibly spacious this bar is and if my cameraman shifts focus behind me you can see this massive window and how it opens up outwards onto your garden area you can see all of nature and this window acts in a way that I don't think any painting could, showcasing nature at its finest in this home while enjoying one of your favorite bottles of wine. So we've wrapped up this formal area and we're gonna take a quick walk through your outside area into your more casual living areas. And we're gonna take a look at what those look like in a home that's worth 22.5 million. Mm -hmm. Leaving behind our formal dining room area, we get the consolation prize of walking through one of the most beautiful patios I think I've ever seen in any eco estate. But we're gonna leave this patio, the pool area, and what the garden holds for last. Right now, it's onto the informal dining room, living room, and bar area. So let's go and take a look at what it has in store. Here we finally get to visit the informal side of the house and this side is where you'll find your kitchen. Beautiful center island made out of Caesar stone countertops, your built-in prep fridge. And when we talk about amenities in this kitchen, you've got space for a double door fridge and an extra length double door fridge. You've got a built-in coffee nook. It shares that catchment area, that beautiful piece of nature that we saw walking through the double doors on the entry hall. Tons and tons of built-in melee appliances. You've got all your usuals. You've got your coffee, your microwave, your oven, your steamer, and then you've got your melee induction cooktop. And then just above that, we've got this built-in melee extractor fan posing up above it. On my left-hand side, more cupboard space for your dry goods, but also it doubles as a display cabinet. And then we end up right here, your breakfast nook. It's got two opening doors leading out onto a patio. So you still have that outdoor, indoor area, but really nice and private, saves you from going to any of the bigger, larger dining room areas. If you want to have a private breakfast or an intimate breakfast with your family, right over here, I think it's such a nice addition. It's such a thoughtful addition. Then leaving the breakfast behind, leaving the kitchen behind, it's time to talk about your living area and that's gonna be happening right here. Your informal living room area, the place you're gonna be finding comfort throughout this house. We've got a really cool chandelier, bulkhead ceiling, inbuilt entertainment area, but also access to two patios, plenty of space for whatever couch arrangements you might want, but also plenty of space to fit in your very own bar. Up above us, we've got really, really cool illumination coming from that chandelier being the feature lighting element of this bar. And then in-built fridges just down below as well as a prep sink and then windows all the way around, allowing this to open up really, really cool. And we'll be talking more about this bar when we head outside. But now it's time for us to head to those stairs right over there so we can go upstairs and take a look at what the bedrooms have in store for us. Arriving on the mid-floor landing, I think this is the perfect time to point out a couple of really cool design elements. One being the flooring making up these stairs, two, the coconut tiles making up the featured wall, and three, this floor-to-ceiling window here pointing south, letting in a lot of natural light. All of the Balinese 
inspired design elements of this home come through so well. Coming through a security gate, we've got another north facing window letting in even more light. And then you're presented with this, the bridge or upstairs landing that lends weight and grandeur to this hallway. Triple story ceilings on something we come into contact often, neither when these bridges are framed with glass and you can look down onto these incredible hallways that homes like this offer. I love the wood trellises that make up the ceiling and we've already spoken about those chandeliers, but take a look at them from another point of view. Right now though, we're gonna to be touring the first bedroom upstairs and that is the one right in front of me. Let's go. The first bedroom we're looking at today is very simple yet spacious. It comes with its own private balcony, stackable sliding glass doors and the view that comes with a balcony and a home situated in this area. Above my head we've got air conditioning as well as a built-in entertainment system. Under feet, carpets as well as a heated flooring. And then walking this way we've got a walk-in closet, plenty of cupboard space, a single vanity, built-in bathtub, single toilet, and then a massive shower rounding off this ensuite bathroom. The spare bedrooms in this house are just as homey as everything else. Thanks to the light gray carpets, these spaces are still super cozy while being large, open, and airy. Currently, the bedrooms are styled to each resident's personality, but once the space is yours, you'll be able to add your own flair to them. All of the bedrooms in this home have their very own private balcony and have full ensuite bathroom with a bath, a shower and a single vanity. The office is perhaps the largest we've seen on the show, with enough space for a seating area, a wall of counter storage and two large work tables. And for those frigid winter days, there's also a gorgeous cast iron line. And here we are finally within the master suite, bringing light and airy to a new level. We've got windows all the way down one length of wall, bringing in so much natural light, really making you feel one with nature. But the space here takes this room to another level. Again, a couple of features we've covered before, but I think they're worth mentioning again. Bulkhead ceilings, built-in entertainment system, central air conditioning, and in this room, a incredible ensuite bathroom. So, as we heard from Ryan within the Netflix series, and I bears repeating if you haven't watched that episode, the owners of this home, when designing it, they wanted to make it feel like a boutique hotel, one that is one with nature, but yet still very homey, and we're gonna see that within the ensuite bathroom. But take a look at your very own really really cool upstairs master suite lounge area you've got lighting you've got a cast iron wood fireplace built in right next to the TV you can sit down you can relax or you can go outside into one of your two balconies both of them overlooking that watering hole I think this is without a doubt one of the coolest master suites we've ever had the privilege of touring but now it is time to talk about that right there which is your ensuite bathroom let's give it a look Here we are finally within the master suite of the master bedroom. To my left, you've got your walk-in closet. Now, this closet is split off into his and hers. Right here is hers. You move on a little bit further and you find the his version. It is also a pretty much fully enclosed office space. It has its very own balcony looking straight on down onto that catchment area we saw as we came through the front doors. I love where the office is situated and how private it is. But coming back to the master suite on my right hand side, we've got a double walk-in shower with an inbuilt outdoor shower. You'll go through this door, you'll go through that door, and you've got a very private outdoor shower that overlooks the watering hole. I love the mirrors built in here, specifically the way it all flows with that Balinese style. Stunning feature walls. Always a cool touch, makes these bathrooms which feels so special. On my left hand side, a jacuzzi bathtub fit for a king or queen, double vanities, under counter storage, and then the killer feature for this room has to be this massive glass window looking out onto all the nature that surrounds this home. But that does wrap up the master suite, and now it's time for us to take a look at the pool area, the gardens, and then talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible Maysdal Eco State Mansion.
And walking outside, the Balinese design elements continue and a couple of really cool features on this side of the patio. One, these doors all open up. So this bar quickly becomes an outdoor bar as well, serving not only the pool area, but this bar area, so much space here. You can see how easily this pool table fits in. And right over here, a gas grill situated perfectly under cover so you can bright regardless of when in the season you find yourself. And then all of this space over here for you to sit, relax, and take in what this home was made for, and that is incredible views of nature, as well as being so close to the pool. If you've got the kids playing, you can keep an eye on them as well. But this outside area is so much more. It is garden, it is lush vegetation, it is indigenous elements, and it is water features, and we're gonna be showing you that right now as you join me as we explore this garden. Passing the beautiful water features, we come to our own Boma. No home is ever complete, specifically a home of this caliber, without your very own fully enclosed private Boma, fire pit, prep area, as well as a pizza oven and outdoor braai make up all of the features you can find here. But what you're gonna be enjoying the most has to be the view and the way this garden is multi-leveled. We went from your patio past the water feature to the boma and now we're gonna head down these stairs to the third level and then say goodbye on the fourth when we're on that open expanse of grass. So follow me and let's journey through this incredibly lush garden. If you'd like to become the next owner of this incredible home, what I'd like you to do is contact Ryan Kwan from Law Real Estate. And a huge thank you goes out to both Ryan as well as Law Real Estate for allowing us to tour this incredible home right here in Maysdale and show it to all of you. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this episode and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of the other private property podcasts or another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. And also don't forget to head to the comments and write down your favorite feature of this home. Always remember, you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. And from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, and everybody else, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time right here on YouTube and Facebook.